What's going on y'all attorney Tom and Cleo here today we are going to be reacting to a skit titled best volleyball blocks ever with Scott Sterling I asked y'all for recommendations on what to react to this was a suggestion apparently there is a potential personal injury issue in this sketch it is by Studio C who we covered a skit with I think last week or maybe the week before that anyway let's just jump right into it Back to our coverage of the NCAA Men's Volleyball Championships between Yale and North Carolina. If you're just joining us, it has been a roller coaster of an evening. Both teams now tied at two sets apiece. The winner of this final set will be the national champions. North Carolina leading by one. Yale and their team captain, Scott Sterling. Love that man. Don't we all? Try. Fun fact, my mother was a volleyball player at Stanford. During her time at Stanford, she went to four Final Fours and two national championships. And then she turned around and had me, someone who has never played competitive volleyball and is now a posting attorney on YouTube. She must be very proud. And desperately to hold them here, or it's all over. Match point for the Tar Heels. Jones preparing for what may be the last serve of his college career. And here we go. Excellent serve. Thompson setting up. Here comes the spike. Yale has to stop this return. Or else oh, deflected oh! right into Scott Sterling's face. And yes! Yale ties it up! Unbelievable! Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, because Scott Sterling's face has entered the building! Take a gander at this replay! The angle at which Sterling deflects the ball off his skull is nothing short of perfection! Like watching Da Vinci paint with- Okay, so so far, Scott Sterling got hit in the face. He seems like he's injured, but remember, when you're playing a sport, there's an assumption of the risk of getting injured. It is just part of playing the sport but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're absolved of all potential liability if you cause injuries during a sporting event it's going to depend on how the injury takes place for instance if during a timeout i walk over to the other team and punch somebody that i don't like well that's probably assault but if i hit the ball and it hits them causing injury that's fair play it's just during the course and scope of the game so right there when Scott Sterling got hit in the head, there's no personal injury case. Let's keep going. His face. Yale now on the prowl to take the lead. And Carolina setting up what is bound to be a devastating return. And here it goes. Oh, oh no! Sterling makes another tremendous save. And North Carolina is wasting no oh, time. Sir. Pound! Oh, oh. Sterling scores! Welcome to the heavyweight bout between Sterling's face and everything else. He looks as though... Poor Scott Sterling is clearly concussed. We could be praying the peaceful visage of head drama. We are all witnesses. Testify. Let us feast on the sweet nectar <laughs> of instant replay. <laughs> Wonderful save here. Just complete. <laughs> Did you see that? You see how weak that check is? Okay, we're definitely getting into the realm of civil liability. I want to rewatch that. Witnesses. Testify. Let us feast on the sweet nectar. <laughs> Of instant replay. Wonderful save here. Just complete That's sacrifice. So the ball flies right past the blockers into Sterling's awaiting face, back over the net, and then right back to Sterling's face like an obese homie pigeon. That man will leave this court today knowing he gave everything he could if he leaves it all. The crowd is now on. The okay, so Scott Sterling is very clearly concussed. We are getting at the point of civil liability for the team doctor for the school for Yale, Yale, the school that he plays for, and pretty much anybody who is responsible for leaving him in the game at this point. And I know this skit is hilarious, but in the real world, there's a difference between getting injured in a quote unquote, okay manner, such as playing sports and what you do after it. I remember a couple years ago, there was a big lawsuit against Virginia Tech, I think because one of their football players was suffering a heat stroke and the coaches still made the individual practice and unfortunately the football player passed away i think it was virginia tech maybe it was maryland one of those schools did that so here scott sterling clearly concussed i don't think it was clear that he needed to be removed from the game after the very first point but certainly after this second roundabout where he was hit two or three more times in the head and he was literally passed out like this and then facing the wrong way 
and the fact that the team doctor came out there and inspected him means that they had notice and they didn't even really need formal notice because a reasonable person should have had notice that he's clearly concussed and i swear i'm fun at parties you guys just asked me to analyze this skit as a personal injury lawyer i can get the joke their feet like mythical atlas who bore the weight of the world upon his back so too as scott sterling bore this team upon his face yale has come back from the brink and is looking to put this one into the history books that's part for yale Did carolina finally push one through sterling oh, did you see that here comes a spike straight to the man the man the legend his teammates help him to his feet no, no. they raise him ever Are weeping. Of joy. The tweets are... Does that say reserved for Sterling? Of joy. The tweets are... <laughs> I even think his teammates have some civil liability for leaving him in and hoisting him up for that final block. But you know what? His name will forever be in the record books as a national champion. And that's what really matters. Moving on. Tweeting. Hashtag Scott Sterling. The hospitals are preparing to receive the man himself. <laughs> the eighth wonder of the world. The great wall of Sterling. I'll tell you one thing. When Armageddon comes, I want to be in a bunker made of that man's face. Until next time. Good, good night, night, everyone. Okay. So y'all want my verdict. And it is as follows. Is there a personal injury case for Scott Sterling? overwhelmingly yes guilty, I say guilty, guilty, guilty. the case for scott sterling had nothing to do with him getting initially concussed it had to do with the treatment of scott sterling after he was clearly concussed leaving him in the game responsible parties for this injury include his school the medical staff the referees his teammates for hoisting him up and if i was scott sterling's lawyer i would sue everybody and again obviously i can see the keyboard warriors now i can take the joke i thought that was hilarious i thought the skit was hilarious all right that's it for today's video as always please leave suggestions on what videos i need to react to next i'm always looking for content and we're trying to do a wide variety of content on this channel Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. We just passed 397,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom.